Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem a quadratic equation of uh, May circuits 2021 of Hacker Earth and the problem name is quadratic as I have already said and uh, the tax associated would, would be like basic number theory and we need to con know the concept of basic maths I think and uh, you can also say uh, iteration or uh, factorization technique you must also know for a particular number okay so discussing about this problem find the number of ordered pairs b comma c such that the equation this has integral roots and c lies between l and r and note that we have to find out the ordered pairs of positive integers b and c note that the, it is talking about positive pairs but you need to consider a positive integer pairs otherwise you will get a wrong answer because also the pairs would be like going to infinite so there is a mistake flaw in this question you need to take care for that positive integer pairs b comma c such that this equation has integral roots and c is going to lie between l and r and note that l and r would be given to us and r maximum can go up to 10 power 12 and there would be 10 test cases at most and we need to print the number of ordered positive pairs of integers b comma c that is possible for a given c lying in the range l to r okay so how we are going to do this problem efficiently and what would be our approach let us understand that okay so now we all know that uh, for a quadratic equation ax square plus uh, bx plus c we have a formula for finding the number of roots or number of roots is not we can say the roots itself that is minus b plus minus uh, underscore of uh, under square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a okay now you note that i have the equation in this format now and a is basically 1 and uh, small d is basically minus twice of capital b and small c is capital c it, if i will substitute the equations then i my equation would become this 2 times of capital B plus minus under root of 4 times of this B square minus 4 times of uh, capital C upon 2 and uh, you will solve this problem then it would become solve this equation it would become B plus minus under score uh, under square root of capital B square minus C now the it is uh, like uh, very much simple to understand that uh, the root should be integer only and only when this uh, value is an integer and it would be possible only when b square minus c is a perfect square or uh, is b square minus c should be a perfect square okay so how we are going to do that and uh, we can easily do that by considering this condition b square minus c uh, let's say it is a uh, integer or square is a square of some integer and it is like x square so I can write c as uh, b square minus x square okay one thing that you should be care to that that is uh, b square minus c should be equal to x square it means that uh, the parity of b and parity of x must be same okay so either b and x both will be odd or b and x both will be even okay now coming back to this equation uh, you need to focus on the how i can find the pairs of b comma c it is basically finding the pair you can say that if i need to find the pairs b comma c then i can easily find out the number of ways to express c in the range l to r such that uh, we, uh, I can express uh, C as a difference of two perfect squares. Okay. So now what I am going to do is I will first find it out. The C uh, value of uh, that is expressing my C for in with the respect of difference of two perfect squares with respect to this R that is R equals B square minus X square. First I will find it out total number of ways to express this r that is not the r i think because if i will that is uh, i am just talking about total number of ways to express the any value in the range 1 to r note that i am talking about 
1 to r and r inclusive such that b square minus x square should lie in the range 1 to r both inclusive. Now let us say I will find it out the total number of ways to represent b square minus x square. Uh, okay, so the total number of ways uh, to represent b square minus x square such that uh, b square minus x square value should lie in the range 1 to l minus 1 itself. That is the, the value that I am going to obtain b square minus x square should lie in the range 1 to l minus 1. Overall, I just want to see, find out the total number of values of b, total number of ways to express b square minus x square such that b square minus x square will have the value in the range 1 to r exclusive. Let's say it has a value called uh, P that is for 1 to R both inclusive and 1 to L minus 1 called as Q. Then our answer would be like P minus Q. Okay. And how it is going to be like, uh, you can easily see if I will subtract it out the total number of ways to express B square minus X square such that B square minus X square has the value in the range 1 to L minus 1. If I will subtract this from the 1 to R range, then I will get the answer in the range L to R as obviously. Now the condition lies is how we are going to express that. So let us try to understand that first. Okay, so I'm just talking about, let us say we have this uh, for a general value. I say I have this N and I need to represent, I need to find out B square minus X square should be lying in the range belonging to 1 to N. Both inclusive. Now how I'm going to do that? Note that uh, I need to take care that b square minus x square should be positive. Okay. So uh, what I am going to do, I am going to just iterate for this x value of x. That is how I am going to iterate for the value of x in the given range of constraint. You can easily see time limit is 4 for every test case. I think so. And r is going to vary up to 10 power 12. So I need to have a limit my iterations up to 10 power 6 at most. Other Otherwise, I will get the time limit exceeded verdict. So, how I am going to do that? So, you must focus upon that I am going to iterate up to square root of n. And uh, how this is going to help us for finding the distinct ways to represent b square minus x square such that this value should lie in the range 1 to n. I should have to remove this uh, equal to sign, I think. Okay. So how I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, iterate for x and I will iterate my x up to square root of n. That is, I will write my condition like that x into x should be less than equal to this n. And every time I will increment my x. Okay, so if you're not going to understand this, no need to worry about. Uh, you can also write this b square minus x square as b plus x and uh, b minus x you can also achieve something with the help of this now i'm not focusing on this okay so you can say that if i will write my capital x into capital x it will be less than or equal to n what i'm going to do is i will just find out b with respect to this and how i'm going to find out b with respect to this let us say i have some x which is satisfying this condition so i can say that i will have some b also and I will have B with respect to X would be like N divided by X. N by X amount of this value. And uh, how I can say that this capital B would be greater than X. Note that this value should be positive. And to remain this positive, I should have to assure that this capital B should be greater than X. Then only this value would be positive and it would lie in the range 1 to N. The, that is the condition, why, that is the reason why I will iterate x into x less than equal to n. That is x should be iterated up to square root of n. If I will just increment my x greater than square root of n and I will find b equal to n by x, then this value b square minus x square will become negative. That is the reason why I will iterate x up to square root of n. Okay, so let us say I will have this x and I can find this b as n by x okay so i need to find out total number of ways such that b square minus x square should lie in this range 
okay how we can easily say note that b and x should have to be of same parity okay so if my x is going to be odd okay x is going to be odd and i don't uh, worry about this b what i'm going to do is i will just uh, subtract out the pairs and what are these pairs note that b should be greater than x so i will find out to total number of odd numbers in the range 1 to this b note that i am talking about this odd one that is both numbers should be odd and both numbers should be even so i am talking about total number of range uh, odd numbers in the range 1 to b and i will subtract total number of odd numbers in the range 1 to x that is i will subtract total number of odd numbers uh, in the range 1 to x from total number of odd numbers in the range 1 to b then i will get the total number of odd numbers in the range x to b and if i will get that it means that i can easily uh, represent that is uh, you can also say uh, if i will do the operation b square minus x square it will be feasible because both have the same parity and our answer should be included by that amount total number of odd numbers in the range x to b okay now talking about for even numbers that is both uh, b and x should be even that is you can also say when x is even and the same thing that i am going to do to subtract the total number of even numbers in the range 1 to x from the total number of even numbers in the range 1 to b so it will give us the total number of even range in the range even numbers in the range x to b then if i will find b square minus x square then that value will always lie in the range 1 to n okay so if i will get that similarly i will get for r and similarly i will get for l minus 1 then i will subtract i can easily get the b square minus x square lying in the range l to r and this is going to be like giving the answers equivalent to the total number of ordered pairs b comma c such that uh, this condition of uh, you can say the x square minus 2bx plus c has integral roots so let us focus upon the code now it will be like much more clear so i will get r minus get l minus 1 i will do the subtract operation and print the end l line and note that b square minus x square should be exactly equal to c and it means that b and x should have the same parity i will iterate my x up to the square root of n so the, the reason is quite simple b square minus x square should be positive if i will increment my x more than square root of n then i will get the difference as negative so i will find out the b and how i the b i found would be n by x that is the x would be like uh, uh, to x would be like uh, b square minus x square should be c i will find out the x i will fix some x then i will find out the remaining b and if i will find out the b i will check it out if x is odd the b must be odd so i will find out the total number of odd numbers in the range x to b and i will increment my answer to that value and similarly for even one also and finally return the answer okay so i haven't submitted the code i think let us submit the code and check it out this question is actually very much easy once you got the concept you can easily get the all test cases passed so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to the youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video